Check it out, guys. What the heck? You want enough line to go out that it makes it all the way into the sewer system. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him, guys. Check him out. Oh. Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Let's go. Guys, what's going on? I'm so hyped today because I actually found the craziest thing that no one will ever believe, but it doesn't matter because we're going to show it to you and you guys are going to understand the insides and the outsides, the downsides and the stinky sides of what we're catching today. Come on over here, guys, really quick. What we need today is obviously a bucket. We need to catch some bait today. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. The Lord loves me today, thank you. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get over here, get over here. He has given bountiful blessings to the mighty. Ah, Shamu, come on, come on. You know Shamu's hungry. Can I get an amen? Shamu, here buddy, here you go. So, Shamu is the savior of my finger. You see, Shamu just gave me that little kiss, got rid of that little thing. I had a little tick, as you saw, on my finger. It had like a lizard shape, but now we're done with that. Let's go ahead and get some bait. We'll get going on our adventure. You don't want to overfeed your fish though. Shamu, don't bite me. Please don't bite me. You don't want to overfeed them. Luckily, this koi does eat in all all weather types, guys. Koi can survive in the cold. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy, enjoy. Come up there, eat. We want to see you eat. Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. The sturgeon and the koi can survive in the very, 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 very cold temperatures, like 60 degrees or something like that, and the koi even lower, as a matter of fact. Our goldfish are actually doing really good. Watch your step, old Timmy, old man. Yeah, you will die and perish like the rest of my cameraman before. Joey Slam. Guys, follow me into the jungle. I have something that's a little hungry. <laughs> Stop rolling, right? All right. All right, guys, come on back here. Come on. Look at the catfish running around, too. Here come the catfish. Here guys, here you go. Enjoy. I know. I know you love me. I love you too. That catfish is getting so big. The catfish are back there. The glare is so bad. It's hard to see. I'm definitely going to go ahead and grab you guys a polarized lens very soon. I'm sorry. I know. Enjoy. Don't be afraid. Oh, Timmy, I almost fell and died. Best part about feeding all these guys is that all their leftover food just trickles right down here and then the goldfish scoop it up as you see all these little fish. Oh, those are perfect size for our bait. We gotta scoop up some of these big fish for our bait, dude. Back here, under the bush, there's a pack of wild monster goldfish. I don't know why they're sitting there like that, but whatever. Maybe they're not happy, or maybe Timmy just spooks everybody. One more for good luck, because it's still kind of warm today. I know. I know you love me. I love you too. But we gotta go catch your ancestors inside the the park at uh, that we're going to. I can't tell you which park. I mean, I could tell you which park. A lot of you guys will know which park, but... A lot of you guys at home won't know which park. I'm gonna get some minnows. Oh, there's a little frog. What? Right in this oh, garbage. look at him. <laughs> it's a little tiny tree frog. Come here. Oh, what is. What the heck? Yo, what? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's something on him. I think he has tadpoles on him. Wait, wait, wait. No way. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, is that a tadpole? Wait, Timmy. What? Is this a tad? Oh, I, I thought it was like transporting tadpoles. Oh, I it's like a leech or something. Oh, it's sinking. It's sinking now. It's sinking now. I'll eat. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Whoa. I got Is you. it alive? Yeah, yeah. Ew, it's an ugly one. I don't catch mm. those. Don't catch it's ugly, bro. <laughs> No, you just caught that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think I know someone who wants to be friends with that, Timmy. Oh. <laughs> so what we need to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is we need to get a little bit of water from this bad boy pond. I actually was using this to feed the puffer, guys. I had a bunch of little minnows in here, and sadly, I'm not going to be able to do that because, as you know, in the last video, our puffer was flushed down the toilet back into the large pond in the Great Beyond. Please come and have to pay respects to my puffer fish. That thing was amazing. Right now, I just need to get one good scoop to get some really fat, fat minnows. Check it out. One, two, three. Oh, baby. Look at the size of these things. That's what we need right here. Breeder minnows, guys. Nice and fat ones. Obviously, one, super fat. Check it out. Two, super fat breeder right there. Boom. Three, super fat. We're going to get a couple reassurance ones, too. Couple reassurance ones too, obviously. Boom. Let's see what else we have over here. That's a. Oh, here we go. Here's here's one more. Here's one more. Here's one more. Boom. 
that that should be good i mean this is almost like guaranteed fishing like it's like a joke you know like when you go to like a small pond with little bread and you catch those fish that are just like ready to eat anything it's the same thing because these guys are actually like in a sewer connected to the lake so it's not the actual lake but these things go in and out of the lake to get to this one spot because I guess the fish like eat the feces or something gross so never eat fish out of some of these lakes in South Florida you don't know what you're eating these guys are gonna have to do the trick five for five let's see if we can catch five fish with all five baits guys you'd be surprised how big the fish you can catch with these tiny tiny minnows obviously they're a little bit fat you know and uh, I would eat them <laughs> if you haven't seen that video yet but we're gonna go ahead and take them to my secret toilet and catch some fish out of it. Well, we got our trusty, dusty, light up fishing pole. We only need the littlest of the little guys because we're basically ice fishing because we're doing it out of a hole. Boom, shaka laka, boom, boom. And we will catch our fish on this bait. Guaranteed, I can guarantee that because these fish are probably starving in their little hole. Let's check it out. A lot of people out here today, guys, they might find out our fishing spot, but you know, you do what you gotta do. We'll make this video and never come back here again, probably. Both of these bathrooms actually connect directly to that lake over there. You guys have seen a couple big things being caught out of that lake. I've have caught a lot of fish out of there, but I found that out like messing around, like making a joke video and something actually bit. So, check it out. What the heck? Yo, oh. They must have got caught for having all that stuff connect to the lake, dude. Check it out, guys. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Look. They took out the piping and stuff. Dang. So you used to be able to catch fish out of these little pipes. Dang. That sucks. I do know one other place. Let's try the other bathroom real quick. Probably a good idea to check the men's bathroom anyway. Dang. No, guys, we're out of luck, dude. We're out of luck. I know one place. Let's go. I know one place. Actually, I know two places. Come on, let's go. Count yourselves lucky, little minnows, but not that lucky. Guys, whatever we catch, we're going to have to take out of this nasty system. Um, I mean, they can get definitely back into the lake. We can release them down into the toilet, but I always feel like they're going to get trapped in there once I, I catch them. I don't know. I'm spooked a bit. I just rather release them into like a canal system, a pond, something like that. So I did bring my transportation cooler to release whatever we catch today. And I obviously do have our minnows, guys. So let's go ahead and get inside there. I'm not going to show you exactly where we are, but as you know, it's really close to that last spot. Let's just say that. Come on, guys. We're going inside now. I like the women's bathroom because it has multiple toilets, guys, multiple ways to catch these fish. Oh. What the heck is that noise? Get in there, guys. It sounds like there's a freaking monster. We're gonna catch these fish today, I promise to God. So we have our rods, guys. We're gonna put in one rod at a time with these toilets. I think I do have a flashlight. I anticipated it being kind of dark in here, so check it out. We're just gonna fish right out of this toilet, guys. It's gonna be sick. We're using these very small minnows and you want a small hook in any case, even if the fish are really, really, really hungry, you definitely want to use the smallest presentation possible. So I'm going to get rid of this hook even though they'll probably still eat with this big hook. I've only fished out of these toilets once. I did actually catch one out of the high one, but just getting that fish out was kind of hard, but I actually caught more fish out of the bigger toilet. I'm going to try these anyway though because I did catch one or two out of both these toilets. So let's go ahead and try the low riders first. I just need one of you. I forgot how hard it is to catch these things. Oh god. Oh god. 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 We'll be right back after I catch one of these minnows. It's a normal minnow that you'll get at any bait and tackle shop, guys. We're just gonna hook it right through the top of the lip. It's like normal. Boom, boom, boom. Live and kicking. Now, what you wanna do is open your bail. It's very important that you have a loose drag. Open your bail, throw them in there. And you want enough line to go out that it makes it all the way into the sewer system. So you need at least, at least 16, 15 feet of line. All right. Ready to go, buddy? Boom. Taking line out, taking line out, taking line out. So that's down there. All we're going to do now is leave this sitting here for a while. Hopefully something tugs. And when it does, we'll be there. Alright, good. We're just gonna leave that there for a while, see what happens. 
We're also going to set up the other toilet to see what happens over there with this little bad rod. And whichever catches one first, we're just going to hold and pray that stays on the hook. You're going to have to take a lot more line out with the, uh, an open drag. Check them out. Live and taken because it's the same water. Boom. Flush them down. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That got nice and deep in there. All right. So again, we're just going to leave this sitting here. I had a tug here ready. I need to put this down. Alright guys, so we lost our bait, but I didn't have a tug. I, don't, I can't remember. I did this when I was a kid. I don't remember if it was that toilet. I remember for a fact I caught a lot of the big toilet, but I really didn't want to catch because they kept getting stuck, but I kept catching them, so. I might not use this toilet again, but I did get, I can't remember. I know for a fact that I caught three in this thing when I was a little kid, and it was like back to back to back. Take a little step back, take a little step back. So let's switch, let's switch. All right, cool. You guys see that? Yeah. Going in, straight down. Make sure you're releasing up the line, make sure you're releasing up the line. Size of that thing. So I'm gonna put this bad boy on. You know what? 
Come on, just put two on. No, I'll save the other one because we, we've been catching them on single hooks. I'm gonna go ahead, put this guy right to the top of the roof of his mouth. Just like that, still kicking, boom. Normal fishing, just like anywhere else. Check it out. Big rod, big fish, baby, come on. Not too big, because he can't fit through the hole. Boom. Maybe he can it. All right. I feel like it's not that far, because honestly, to reel it up, it was only a few cranks to get it back up. It might be a lot closer than we think. I don't know, I have no idea. But anyway, we're gonna try to get it like actually pulling. We do have one more bait to set up, but I do want to measure these guys before we release them. But maybe we should just do that. Maybe we should just do that on the way. Maybe we should just do that on the way. Okay? We did get a bite. We did get a bite. Untangled. Untangled. Oh, we're stuck. Oh, oh no, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him guys. Check him out, check him out, check him out, check him out. Boom, boom, that's how you do it. You guys thought it was a joke. Oh no, 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 he just throws him in the toilet. No, it's real, it's real. Welcome to the wild world of catch em all. <laughs> I thought they might have fixed that, you still recording? Yeah. Dude, three baits, three fish. Look at the size of this bad boy. Look at the size, he might have, a little smush. He's doing good though. They always get a little weird. Come through the. Oh look! <laughs> There's our bait. Just spit out our bait. Oh, relax, dude. Relax. <laughs> Guys, check out our fish. He just spit out our bait. It's all chewed up, as you can see. Check it out. Check out the bait. Completely destroyed. All chewed up. Really gross. This is ridiculous. I should throw this in the toilet and flush it. <laughs> Everybody. Look how big this fish is out of the point. This is the biggest fish I've ever caught, even close to catching out of the toilet. Relax, relax, relax. It's still fresh. So now you guys know what it is. We got this guy out of the toilet. Check it out. I'm not going to release him. I thought about releasing him into the toilet, but I'm afraid that he'll get like, stuck on the way down. They kind of came up, but, but I don't know. I just, it just feels weird. Like, you put the live fish down there. I don't want to do it. So. I'm gonna release these guys, rescue them. They could be stuck. I don't know what's down there. That's the thing. I really don't know what's down there, you know? I don't like to know if it connects directly to the lake and they just swim up and get stuck in a little tiny thing, or if it connects to the lake and they can just go back and forth, which I'm assuming they can go back and forth, but they could like get through a small little like filter when they're small and get stuck. So I don't know. But I don't really know, but to get three fish out of the toilet is absolutely insane. I'm having the same day that I did when I was a kid just messing around. I actually did this with bread though, and I caught a bunch of little cichlids and stuff. Like the mines I caught that little time, but I was really hoping to get the peacock bass, and I did. So I'm actually more excited about how big the bass is, but whatever, let's go release these fish, guys. I'm stoked. Guys, you gotta watch out what you're eating out here, I'm telling you. If it's connected to a lake or something, it might be like from the actual super system. You never know down here in South Florida or anywhere else for that matter. I think South Florida actually has like pretty decently clean waterways compared to other places and not for me. Little poopy waters of Miramar, Florida. Ah, say goodbye. What are you guys doing? Doing okay? Release two peacocks for you. Ooh. Got him. Ow! Relax. Relax. Peacocks, baby. Come on. I'm afraid of a snake. Peacock one. One knock. Peacock two. Bye, buddy. Wrong way. Wrong way. Don't stay there. See you later, buddy. So, we have little RG. Come with me, buddy. Oh. Still a little wired up. Look, there's his food. <laughs> cool. Large mouth bass. Not the biggest, but definitely my most memorable so far today. See you, buddy. Be safe. Be safe. Oh, why, why, why are you? Why are these guys keep going to do this? Wrong way. <laughs> See you later, buddy. 
man, what an adventure, guys. I hope you stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. It's getting wild out here. Next thing we're doing is using that jet ski to catch some big, big, big fish, guys, out in the open ocean, guys. I hope you stay tuned. We have a lot to do, guys. Like it, subscribe, and catch them all. Catch them all. Get him off.